every summer, Pueblo Animal Services responds to dozens of calls about animals stuck in hot cars, mm -hmm. and police get several reports about kids in hot cars, too. Yeah, a new state law actually lets people break into cars to help if needed, but it's not quite that simple. News 5's Allison Zimmerman joins us live in Pueblo to explain what to do when you see somebody in trouble. Robin Elizabeth, just to give you an idea of how hot it does get inside these cars, it was a 90 degree day in Pueblo and we've had this thermometer in here for about an hour and a half now and you can see it is hitting its max at 120 degrees here. Pueblo law enforcement tell me this is a good reminder to be prepared. On a summer day in Pueblo, several families come here to the Riverwalk to cool off from the southern Colorado weather. Hot. Hot and, and lately dry. Too hot is uh, 94, 95, somewhere in there. And when it's hot out here... At 95 degrees outside, it can get to about 115 degrees inside of a vehicle within about 10 minutes. And still, people year after year leave their pets and kids inside hot cars. I think it's criminal. Pets very easily can overheat. Um, they have very few outlets to cool their bodies down. And with young kids, it can be deadly. Um, you know, it's, it's dangerous. I mean, uh, we have to have fire rescue there. They have to treat the children or the animals. Last year, Colorado lawmakers approved a bill that would make it legal to break into a car to save an animal or a child. Well, sort of. There are some things you'll need to do before you just smash in a window. Um, first of all, make sure that the vehicle is locked and they can't get in. Then you'll need to try and make contact with the car owner. And if you can't get a hold of them, you need to call law enforcement. Not only are we able to provide education to those pet owners, um, but you know there are times where we have to you know step in and take enforcement action. Here in Pueblo, police and animal shelter officers get lots of calls about this during the summer months. But just this morning, we had three calls come in in two hours. But the best way to avoid any of this is to watch out for your pets and kids before you head out on your summer adventures. And just keep in mind, if you do happen to break in and you don't take those steps beforehand, you could be facing charges such as criminal trespassing. Always watching out for you. Southern Colorado, Allison Zimmerman, News 5. Allison, thanks.